Welcome back to Smile Nuts Tech Talk, guys. Um, if you are wondering how to change an uh, AC belt on a E46 BMW, uh, I'm working a, on a, a 330XI myself, so I'm going to be installing a new AC belt on mine. Uh, mine's a little worn, so uh, check this out uh, while I do this. But also, you you should also be uh, changing out your um, serpentine belt at the same time. So make sure you uh, change out your serpentine belt and your AC belt. So if you're watching this just for the AC belt, change out your serpentine belt. Unless your serpentine belt's good or you just replaced it, then this video is for you. All right, you guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so basically that's the uh, AC belt down there. Um, it, uh, it's a little worn, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. By taking it off, you gotta uh, pretty much release it from the tensioner, which is, this is the tensioner right there. And then you have to take that cover off. And if you take the cover off, uh, you need to get a flathead Okay, flathead well, screwdriver, and there's a cover piece down there. Okay, that looks like this that was covering there. That's why it's so shiny. And then, um, and then you pop that off, and then you need to get yourself like uh, these. Uh, they call it e torques, pretty much. Um, you gotta get something like this. And this is a, a T50. Um, so the T50 will then fit down here. Okay, just like that. And then you'll have to go towards the right to release it. You can see that there, but you release it and then the belt starts releasing there and then that's how you get the belt on so um just make sure you know how to pretty much know how the belt ribbon goes around it goes around this way and then it goes up underneath the tensioner goes back down up around and straight across here and then i'll be showing you how to also install your serpentine belt. All right guys, so basically I noticed that my pulley, my AC pulley is supposed to look like this pulley right here. Because it's deteriorating. Once I take that off, you'll see. Um, so yeah. Uh, check your pulleys when you're doing your serpentine belts. Uh, I know this one here is, uh, is not supposed to do that. That's why you hear a lot of that uh, whining sound. It, and I thought it was coming from my, um, my oil pump. And, it's, uh, and it wasn't. It was actually, it's this bearing that's out and it's not supposed to spin that hard. And so that's why I got me another one of those because, you know, this is a good bearing in here, of course, but it's not supposed to spin freely like that. So changing out my, uh, my pulleys here. Um, the, the bottom pulley down here. That one there. And that one here is the same pulley, so you might as well buy two of those and uh, another uh, pulley for this one here. That's the idler pulley, and then two tensioner pulleys. Um, that's what you need to get, pretty much. Uh, tensioner pulleys. So two of those and idler pulley. 
one of these. Um, my car has 200,000 miles, so it's pretty much uh, time to change all of that. So I'll have to get another pulley for this one to change it out. It's not too bad. It doesn't spin freely, but I'm glad I'm uh, doing my serpentine belt because now I figured that that pulley is pretty bad. So I'll let you guys look at this once I take it off. All right, guys, so uh, I took out the pulley. This is the pulley that was in there. And this is the new pulley. So you kind of see what this looks like here. All right, so that's, uh, there goes the pulley right there, the idler pulley. There it is right there. And then, uh, as you can tell, you know, you don't hear it, it's not turning freely. Like the other one was here. It just keeps turning like that. And like that. It's making a loud noise. So that way just uh make sure you uh, when you put install that idler pulley, you put that piece where it should. It's usually like like this here like that okay all right guys so pretty much i already installed the belt there and then this is pretty much how what the uh serpentine belt looks like here um i put a new pulley here and uh pretty much a new pulley here and a new pulley down there so two tensioner pulleys one idle pulley and pretty much this is how the serpentine belt wraps around it goes around this way then it loops over here then under here then it goes under there and it goes around over here up to your uh, alternator and uh, down to your water pump here so your idle pulley is right there so uh, that's pretty much uh, how you do that first you have to install the uh, serpentine belt and then second you have to install the um, the AC belt so uh, always cover your uh, pulley um, so the, the bearings will stay nice and clean and last you a long time so that way you don't get any noises like I did all right you guys well, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.